Hey guys, it's PC Kid, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple web browser using a program called Visual Basic. Um, to download Visual Basic, you're just going to go to this website, and I'll put this link to the website in the video description for you. You're going to click on download and then go through the uh, basic installation process. So, let's uh, minimize this. And once you have it installed, you're going to bring up Visual Basic. And I'll just discard this. I'll go to File, and you're going to go to New Project, and Discard. Uh, and you're going to make a Windows Forms application. Um, you can name it whatever you want. We'll just uh, name it Web Browser. And then we'll click OK. So this is what your web browser is going to be. You're going to click on Web Browser, or the Form, Form 1, sorry about that. Click on your web browser. Uh, which should be labeled as form one. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the window name. So uh, if, as you see right here, it says Web Browser Microsoft Visual Basic. That's basically the name of the window. Uh, so for this, we're gonna rename the window to whatever you want your internet browser to be named. So we'll uh, name it PC Web Browser. By uh, text. You go to properties and then you'll uh, go to text. So we'll do that and we'll name it PC. Oops, PC Web Browser. Okay, so we have it renamed, and as you see right here, it's renamed to PC Web Browser. So you can do a majority of different things. Uh, you can make it uh, opacitize if uh, that's what you want to call it, which makes it kind of like invisible but I don't recommend that but the lower you go in the percentage the more invisible it will be um, a thing that I like to do is I like to uh, change the background color to a uh, darker gray so we can do that um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna resize it you can uh, resize it just doing this but we're not gonna do that um, we're gonna make it a precise uh, Precisation. Uh, that's not even a word, but I just made it up. So, um, you're going to go down here and size, you're going to make it 1000 by 800 pixels. So, let's do that. Comma, space, 800. And a click out of it, and there you go. Now, uh, you have the, um, the basic uh, structure of your web browser. Now you're going to want to make the layout, which uh, includes the buttons in the address bar. We're going to be doing five buttons. You can get the buttons by going over your toolbox and clicking on button. And uh, we'll do five of them. So we'll click on it and then click back on here. All right. And now once you get the fifth button, you're going to want to rename them. The buttons we're going to be using is go refresh stop back and forward so uh, let's rename them button 5 can be go and to rename it you go to your properties and you go to text and you rename it here so we'll uh, rename it go same thing with all the others uh, let's rename this uh, refresh And let's name button number four back. Button number one can be forward. And button number two can be stop. Okay, so you got your buttons, um, and now what you're going to do, you're going to drag them to wherever you want to put them. You don't have to put them as I do, but um, this is how I always put them. I always put the back and the forward buttons um, right here at the very left part of the uh, application. And then on the opposite side, I do stop, then I do refresh and then I do go. So you have your buttons um, in your web browser. Now you're going to want to add the address bar. You can do this by going to toolbox, go 
going down and clicking on text box. So you're going to click on the web browser. You're going to slide this over and adjust it to uh, the right uh, spot that you wanted at. And uh, there we go. So we have the layout, but now we're going to want to view the web page. Um, in order to do this, we're going to add uh, the web browser tool. And we're going to select that, and then we're going to click on the window. And by default, you should have just a little arrow, but um, if you're and it should be like right around here. What you're going to do, you're going to click on the arrow, and then you're going to click on Doc and Parent Container. And uh, there you go, but we're going to undock it. So now we're going to adjust this. A again, you don't have to do it as I do, um, but here we go. We're going to put this all the way over here. We're going to put this all the way down. All right, so this allows you to view your web pages. And uh, if you want a home page, you click on the web browser tool or the part, whatever you want to call it. And down here in your properties box, you should see URL. You're just going to type in the URL that you want as your web page. We'll do google.com. And so now you'll have a uh, URL. And uh, in the address bar, if you want it to, if you want any text to be in there before you type something in, you can also do that. Uh, to do this, you just go to your properties and you go to text. And I'll say uh, type address here. And you can also uh, change the font to that if you want. Uh, I'll do that and I'll change it to my Calibri font. Okay, so click OK, and now we have type address here, and now we have our web page. All right, so we got the basic structure of our uh, web browser, but the only thing that isn't going to work is our um, basic buttons. So we're going to double click on a button. We'll start with go. Double click on go, and you'll get this uh, script that requires a command for you to type in. Um, I got the list of scripts that you need for each button in here and uh, I'll put all these in the video description for you so you don't have to type them in and we're just going to paste them in one at a time and next one we're going to do refresh and we're going to go do that script okay so refresh oh whoops all right paste that in and now we're going to go to stop and we'll get that uh, script or command and paste that in and now we just gotta do the back and forward buttons so click on back copy this and paste it and now the last one is a forward button so let's do that. I recommend uh, copying and pasting these in. Uh, you can probably mess it up if you uh, just type it. Um, but so now all the buttons should work. In these brackets, um, after you paste them in, that will come in automatically. I I don't recommend auto, uh, typing them in manually. It can uh, mess it up. So we got all of our buttons working. We got uh, the structure done, we got the address bar, and we got the web page for you done. So, if you want to test it out, you can click on this play button. And I'll minimize this right now. And as you see right here, we now have the web page. And we have the address bar. And uh, we have the regular buttons. Uh, it does work, the browser does work. Um, if you as long as you have internet duh um, and so we're gonna try to go to a web page let's try to go to youtube.com you don't have to put an HTTP you can just do uh, youtube.com and you can't press enter to go to the page that's the only thing that really uh, stinks about this you have to click on go and it should bring us there so let's try that okay so it works